Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Peter Pearson from the National Greyhound Forum, who's continued on the great work of his father, Bill, who's inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight. Thank you, Michael. And uh, thank you to Jimmy Coleman, because um, I'm not the uh, first person to get emotional. It's great to uh, come to Sydney because um, there were quite a few uh, odds against us when we left Melbourne. It's the first time we've had rain for about 12 months. The plane was 65 minutes late. And my brother and I started to think, because we had to leave the office late, that we mightn't be here to accept this award. And um, there's six siblings in our family and it was going to be a fight who was going to get up here first but because I typed out the speech I said I've got to get here first. Now when we uh, arrived at Sydney and I don't want to bore you about this but uh, truly there's only one, you can only have one Sydney fair dinkum. 65 minutes late, get our virgin straight down into the taxi queues and for some reason up here in Sydney there's a dispute between the limousine drivers and the taxi drivers and there's a blockade at the airport. Now fair dinkum there were 300 people in the queue wanting to get a cab so God help those people who were down the back of the queue. My father always said never be afraid of the duke and for those old timers here who know what a duke is is make sure that you slip somebody something so my brother and I went straight to the front of the queue and I said See what, we can do up the, see what we can do up the front here. And $50 changed hands, we jumped up over the barrier. <laughs> and it cost us $50 to get the fifth cab here tonight. <laughs> now apart from that, that was, we were getting pretty late. Then we had uh, uh, the time essence of getting here. And as we got in the cab, I said to the mate, the guy who was driving, I said, mate, there's $20 here if you can get us to the Sheraton in rather quick time. Now, this was Jackie Chan. Now, fair dinkum. <laughs> now, you reckon Mark Webber can drive a car? And he, he crashed at uh, the Grand Prix last week. This guy's the best driver I've ever been. A front seat, my hand never moved off the, uh, the handle. <laughs> He was sensational. So we've got his number and uh, we're making sure we're not going to ring him to get us back to the airport. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, a little bit of uh, levity, like helping put six kids through private Catholic schools and boarding colleges. Unfortunately, we were topped by the, um, the Morgan family there. <laughs> Arthur, uh, Arthur left school at 12 and uh, punched out nine kids and they all got to university. We didn't fire at university, but... Um, <laughs> We did all right in the punt. <laughs> Some of the offspring in our family inherited his aversion to the strict rigours of teaching and discipline. But our second eldest sibling is now the vice, prin vice principal of one of Victoria's leading private Catholic schools. That achievement gave the old man great satisfaction. I'm nearly there. He also instilled into us some of the basic principles of life and there was no better education than selling form guides at the track. Two generations of our family have supplemented their pocket money from selling gold guides over the years. He met all walks of life and apart from the good tips from people who backed a winner, learned first hand how to deal with the public, something a lot of kids today don't know how to do. We have our patriarch to thank for what we have achieved in life thus far. The acknowledgement of AGRA, of our father's dedication and contribution, which is a lifetime, is greatly appreciated by our large family, which is now extended to a third branch. I am emotional, but very, very proud. Thank you.